The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. Stop Ragnarok. But we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs>
Down here. Father, this way. Four more arrive. <laughs> Okay. Focus, Atreus. This way. Maybe you can throw those back at them. Oh! Uh. 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 
from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Follow us! Over here! Your chain! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. The war will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. <laughs> Dark Elf Assault. How fortuitous! 
so sick of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone?
up! Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. <sighs> Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now. I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Niflheim just got a new guest. Hail, fellow travelers! Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfheim pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. 
Don't knock it till you've tried it. This axe just keeps getting stronger. I'll heat up the forge. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Huh, that might be my best piece yet today. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? And in pristine condition, too. This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, Ooh. sand. Want something in particular? Got time to chat? <laughs> what are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated gulag. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <laughs> Attempting treasure chest! Damn the sand! Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. 
Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels aplenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem.
Look, there's a cave entrance. Extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. The Twilight Stone give you the angle you need, brother. I know more about the Dark Elves. I wish we didn't have to fight them. They...
patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. now it's not always like that some animals are just i feel what they're feeling you know and whatever this thing is it's in a lot of pain i see why do you ask i am curious really i am capable of curiosity okay okay <laughs> Maybe if we hit it from down there. changed for both of us well yeah i'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal is this not what you want no no it, it is i'm just surprised it's what you want too <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't.
just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphon, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the Song of the Sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here.
Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hackamas are known to burrow. Well, I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> no. Then let us free it.
This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. Flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here.